Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and we are back yet again talking about Disney clamping down on female Star Wars director Charmaine Obeid Chinoy, limiting her involvement with the franchise, but it's not like she could really do anything to damage the brand any further because this was already damaged with the sequel trilogy, which was all dog water, in my opinion. Obviously, other people are, are allowed to have their opinions on those movies, but for me at least, it's a, they are all objectively bad. Force Awakens is passable, but still pretty bad because of Han Solo dying in the film. But let's get into this article here from Fandom Pulse. Disney has clamped down on Pakistani documentary filmmaker Sharmin Obeid Chinoy, slated to direct the first installment of a new Star Wars trilogy, banning her from being involved in any other Star Wars projects. This move comes after a money dispute between Sharmin Obeid Chinoy, the Disney company, and actress Daisy Ridley to start the new trilogy. Another factor believed to be involved with the director's semi-detachment from the franchise is a series of old interviews that have recently gone viral, in which she reveals several distasteful things about herself, such as, quote, I like to make men uncomfortable. The director has also revealed that she views her Star Wars project as a vehicle for an activist agenda which involves female empowerment, which, even though they have alienated the hardcore fans of Star Wars, I'm pretty sure that males are the main target audience for this franchise still. In late 2022, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy invited Charmaine Obeid Chinoy to play a pivotal role in the Star Wars franchise as both a writer and frequent director. After Charmaine Obeid Chinoy began demanding more money, however, Disney CEO Bob Iger pulled the plug, decreasing her pay and limiting her involvement to just one film. It's a bad thing because what happened with the sequel trilogy, you had J.J. Abrams for one film, and you gave it to Rian Johnson, who screwed it all up. Then you had to bring back J.J. Abrams for the third film, and he had to try to write or rewrite all the garbage that Rian Johnson decided to put in this film. Around the same time, Disney da Daisy Ridley's pay was increased. Part of the role of Charmaine Obey Chinoy in the Star Wars franchise would have been to ensure that the subversive DEI agenda of a Disney was implemented across various projects. The Pakistani director's removal does not indicate a reversal of Disney's commitment to woke ideology, however. It is most likely the Disney company was unwilling to expand the effort to spin her toxicity into a positive feature. She shouldn't be writing Star Wars. She has no experience writing sci-fi. She has experience doing documentaries. She should stick to that. The Star Wars film will be the first attempt for Charmaine Obey Chinoy at directing a future-length non-documentary film. The fact that Disney gave her the job in the first place and then refrained from firing her outright reveals that the only thing the company cares about is its subversive agenda. Quality storytelling is the least of the concerns at Disney. Just like how they released an aerial animated trailer where they race swapped Ariel's parents, it looks like. Even though Ariel's white. In one of Charmaine Obey Chinois' viral interviews, the director gleefully and complete, completely unwittingly says several things about herself that conform to the very worst female stereotypes revealing sociopathic, dishonest, and manipulative patterns of behavior. She says, quote, My greatest asset is I'm a woman. You can't change that fact, though. That's not really a big deal. I really can get away with a lot of things. That sounds very sociopathic indeed. When you, play, when you can play the woman card, you play the woman card. The dance on the stress, you've got to play all sides. If I need to scare a man off a bit, I do. I enjoy that power. You can do both, and I like that. Yeah, again, you don't. You don't sound. So, you definitely sound sociopathic, indeed. Pop culture commentators have been making hay of these and other comments from the director, some of which date back nearly a decade, dating back to 2002. 2002 the work of Charmaine Obeychinoy mostly consists of documentaries, which she has more recently branched out and created several inspirational cartoons for Pakistani children. Her early documentary work focused mostly on the abuse of women and children in the Muslim world. But for her more recent offerings, have a more westernized, quote-unquote, woke quality with topics such as climate change and gender. There's only two genders, by the way. She directed one episode of Disney's Miss Marvel series, which was dog crap, lowest viewed show on Disney+, Plus, which featured a Muslim protagonist. What do I think of the first female director in a Star Wars film? Nobody cares. I don't care. I don't care that she's female. Just write a good story. Nobody would care if you just write a good story. People like to say people are istenphobes, especially sexist, right? Because they don't want this female director that has no business 
writing a Star Wars film to write a Star Wars film. If you have no experience in writing Star Wars or even sci-fi, you should not be working on this film. You should get someone who actually has experience working in sci-fi. You know, get, I guess, get the chick who did the Obi-Wan series. She'd probably be much better even though she ruined the Obi-Wan series. She basically made Obi-Wan the reason that Alderaan blew up and deleted 4 million people. Because he refused to stop Anakin Skywalker. Yes, it's a spoiler and no one really watched the show. So this shouldn't really matter. At the end of the day, just hire people who have experience in the genre you're asking them to direct. Rather than hiring them for a DEI, diversity, inclusion, and equity agenda. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button, comment below. If you feel about all this, subscribe for more content, hit the bell for notifications, set the bell to all notifications. That way you'll get one anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.